for whatever reason but I just I got the butt tingles when I sat on her I just I didn't I loved I, I love her so hopefully this jump school goes as good as I'm hoping it will so I will see you guys when we get to the barn <laughs> two-hand Danish warm blood mare. She has an extensive USEF record. Um, I think it's like 16 pages long. It's crazy. And she is super, super thick. As you can see, she's pretty chunky. I mean, I'm 5'8", so she's, she's a big girl. Um, all bay. She's got beautiful daffles. She's just got that one star and she's just got such a cute little, little dainty face. Oh, I don't know. I just, I'm in love with her. Um, she is actually a sale horse at the barn right now. So, um, since I'm doing, since I'm a trainer there, I've been doing training rides and I sat on her and I was like, Oh my gosh, I, I have to have you. <laughs> I just, I love her so much. So this is my second ride on her and my first time jumping her. She has been for sale for a while and she has sat for so long because she's very quirky. I want to say quirky. She's not quirky. She doesn't spook, buck, rear, none of that stuff. She's super chill. She knows her job. She loves her job. 
but she is a strong, strong mare, but she's uber sensitive. So when Debbie was working with her, um, they ended up finding that she went best in a happy mouth hackamore bit. So that's what she's in. It's a, it's one of the three piece ones and she, people make the mistake when they were trying her like, oh, we'll just bit up because she is that strong over fences. I mean, she, she takes you to the fence for sure. It was definitely quite a bit different than anything else I've ever ridden, but um, she's awesome. She doesn't like people hanging in her mouth. Um, she does not like to be like held on to with her leg, like with your legs. So if you hop on and grab a hold and squeeze with your legs, like she'll take off. Um, she just, she's very, very sensitive. So you just have to have an independent seat. You can't really be using your legs and your calves to balance. You can't be balancing on her mouth. I mean, she's, she's a, she's a technical horse for sure. So her gates are super, super smooth. As you can see, she's, she, everything about her is just so smooth and lofty and she just she she rides on the flat like a dream so i just spent some time warming her up um just trying to get her in between my hands and my legs um she is a half halt ride she does not like people hanging in her face so it's a constant check and release with her um, especially over fences. She has been known from what my trainer said that she has turned an in and out into a bounce line in a jumper course. So she definitely, she's one of those horses that she kind of wants you to get out of her way, but she also doesn't want you to sit up there and do nothing. She gets nervous if, if you're just kind of sitting there laying on her neck. So she's, she's really cool. She's just, super different. Um, I feel very lucky and proud that I am able to ride her because from what I've been told, she there's a lot of people that can't. So the fact that we made such a great connection and such a great team right off the bat um, really, really was good. So um, here I am just going to let you guys watch me warm her up a little bit and then um, I start jumping here in a little bit, but unfortunately the Pivo died. So, well, it stopped, it stopped spinning to track. So I didn't get everything, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. So when I talk about how sensitive this horse is, <laughs> I'm coming up just to canter up this line and I just like barely shift my weight and boom, weight change. So then I changed her back, but she is just that sensitive. So she's, she's definitely going to teach me a lot and make me, make me a significantly better rider, which I haven't bought her. I'm still trying her. She is obviously at my barn, so, and I've been doing trading rides on her, so it's kind of one of those things where she, I, I definitely think I'm going to buy her. She, I just, I'm not in a huge, huge rush at this moment because she's obviously still here. Um, but she just, she's 14, and just with the experience she has, she knows everything. She's schooling third and fourth level dressage. I mean, she's done eventing, she's done jumpers, she's been to Florida, Texas, California. She's been everywhere to shows. So for me, it was it, it's it's kind of nice to to be able to have a made horse like this that can also teach me things because I can't teach my green horses and other green horses things that I don't know yet. So I think she's definitely going to speed up my um, 
abilities, if, if you'll say, if, if that's right. <laughs> she'll speed up. She'll fast track me is, is what I guess I'm trying to say. She is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. By the way, this axer that she's putting this up to is like a four foot axer. So when you see this next jump, just keep that in mind that she takes out a stride in this line over a four foot axer. <laughs> <laughs> 